Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and in this tutorial I thought I'd show you how to have fun with panning and stuttering to create a panned stutter effect. So, here's a voiceover I recorded earlier saying in the mix. If I head into the multi-track view and drag that in, you'll notice I've also got a bed, a music bed in track one. Let's have a listen to that music bed first of all. A pretty straightforward music bed with easy to identify beats. So what I'm going to do is put in the mix on the second beat. You see the second beat is here. And then I'm going to take the first bit of in the mix, copy it using Command C on my Mac. Control C will work nicely on the PC. And then paste it on every quarter part of the beat. And if I do that, we'll end up with something that sounds like this. In the mix. But we can go one step further. I'll put it on every eighth of a beat. And we'll end up with something that sounds like this. In the mix. As long as you keep to the BPM of a track, it should sound really good. Now, how do you create a panned stutter? Well, you see the blue line on your waveform here. Take it and drag it up for left and down for right. So what I'm going to do along track two is gradually move the pan into the center and then over to the right. So now you'll hear in the mix, stuttering from left to right, and finally ending up in the center. In the mix. And that's an example of how to create a panned stutter effect in Adobe Audition. If you'd like to learn more tips and tricks, simply hit subscribe on this channel now. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.